three, two, one, action. Hey, what's going on Fish Keepers? This is Amanda from SFA Cichlids and today we have an unboxing of some very special cichlids from cichlid lovers in Arizona. Stay tuned to see these cichlids in their new 120 gallon aquarium and if you like our videos, please remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you'll get notified anytime we put up a new video. Thank you, see you guys soon. Thank you, Amanda, for that proper intro. So during the last year, we have lost several fish in our 120-gallon tank due to aggression. Um, the, one of the best ways to lower the aggression in your tank is to overstock it by adding more fish. So as we lost a couple of fish, the aggression kept getting worse and worse. So now we decided to add five more fish in there, hopefully calm things down a bit. We decided to get fish from Cichlid Lovers in Tucson, Arizona because they were having a sale. We got some three to four inch peacocks and haps for $18 I think was what the sale was on. We decided to go with a star sapphire because we recently lost ours unfortunately. We also got a pearl OB which we were really looking for a white and blue OB. This guy has a little bit of orange but we'll see how he turns out. We also ended up getting a cyanochromis fryer eye uh, a regular you know electric blue as they call them and we got a iceberg as well German strain those look just like the fryer eyes but they get like the the white from the blaze is supposed to come down to like half their body and they look really great we also got a red empress uh, we lost our red empress maybe like a year and a half ago the fish came in maybe like a half inch smaller than what I was expecting they were pretty skinny I'm sure they do starve them for shipping purposes but considering we do have a 7 inch Borlei and an 8 inch Venustus in this tank it was kind of sketchy introducing them so what I did was I fed them very heavily before putting them in and then I tried to put them in as soon as possible I'm sorry I don't have any footage of actually putting the fish in but it was just me by myself and I wasn't gonna put the fish's health in danger so you can see here on the screen this is the small red empress that we received he is eating like crazy and uh, he's gonna be growing very fast you can see our venustus right there another quick tip that I have for you guys uh, as far as introducing fish goes is that once you put them in it's best to turn the lights off and if it's nighttime you could leave it like that but during the day you definitely want to make sure your house lights are off too and if you could cover the tank, the glass parts, with towels, that's great as well. So it'll stay really dark in there. The fish will find the spot and kind of hang out and not be stressed out from being chased by other fish. In this video, you're seeing mostly our Placidochromis, Pinoculus, Tanzania, the Star Sapphire. In the middle of the screen, you can see the Red Emperor swimming around as well. And I think you just got a, glim a glimpse of the cyanochromis fryer eye by the egg tumbler back there. Uh, again, they're all doing great. I'm going to just leave you all with the rest of these clips and some music playing. And uh, hope you all enjoy it. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. So again, the fish that we got were the Red Empress, the Star Sapphire, the cyanochromis fryer eye, the cyanochromis iceberg and the OB Peacock. So yeah, hope you all enjoy these clips of the fish and I'll see you on the next one.